Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a wonderful Friday. Um, I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy in these crazy times right now. Sparrow, Amelia, and I, we went to Ralph's today. <laughs> Just to get a few things and it was insanity. We ended up having to go to Albertsons also, which was insanity times 10. It was just wild. So I hope you are all being safe and healthy in these trying times. Moving on. Today's video is a little chit chat about Survivor. Um, Wednesday? I keep forgetting what days of the week it is. Wednesday was episode five and it was a new tribe episode, which is always fun. So basically the two tribes, blue and red, I don't know their names. Don't really know how to pronounce them if I knew them. So I just call them blue and red. They drop their buff and they split on up into three new tribes. There's blue, red, and green. Um, let me see. I have some notes because <laughs> I'm a note taker now. If I can get to my notes, like dang. So the tribe swaps. Blue tribe is now Parvati, Michelle, Nick, Yule, and Wendell. Red Tribe is Sandra, Tony, Kim, Denise, and Jeremy. And then Green Tribe is Sarah, Sophie, Rob, Adam, and Ben. <laughs> I forgot I forgot all about Adam for a second. Like I was like, what is his name? <laughs> um, so I haven't done an episode video since I think episode two or three. I don't know. And a lot has happened. I'm not gonna go deep into it because that's in the past. Um, there's amazing YouTubers, Nertainment, that's their channel name, Sarah and David, they do episode recap videos, like they go in depth on the episode, so I'm sure you guys are already watching them, so we don't need to go in depth on past episodes, um, but I am going to talk a little bit about this last episode, because it's actually really entertaining to me, and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, basically, like I'm not going to go deep, deep into it, because I'm sure... Uh, there's other people who already have but I'm going to give a brief opinion about everything in general so let me just start with the tribes if I had to choose a tribe to be with it would easily be blue tribe with Parvati, Nick, uh, Michelle, Wendell, Yule all of my favorites are literally on that tribe like that is my dream tribe and if i had to pick a tribe to be on it would be the blue one i love parvati you guys already know this i love nick you guys already should know this too um michelle i'm not too sure how i feel about her i really enjoyed watching her working with jeremy and i love their dynamic so i was a little sad to see them separate but i am interested in, in michelle she was really irritating me though in the episode like constantly talking about her relationship with Wendell like get over it if it happened it happened like okay but this is the game and I say that but I could easily if I were in her situation I would probably be dwelling on it a little bit also so I don't hate her for it but as a viewer it was slightly annoying like okay I get it you guys have a past I understand I feel for you girl but make lemonade out of some lemons and just enjoy yourself uh, I did find it funny how Michelle was like, yeah, we were in a relationship and blah, 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 like making it sound like this big thing. And then Wendell was like, yeah, we hung out a few times. That is normally how it goes with men and women. Like it just, it made me laugh because it's like, I've seen so many of my girlfriends have similar situations, you know, like they're like, yes, we're in this committed, strong relationship. And then the guy's like, yeah, we're just hanging out, you know, seeing each other, seeing how things go. It's not too serious. It's like, what really happened, you know? <laughs> but anyways, that would kind of be annoying to be on an island stuck with someone that you dated. So I get where she's coming from, but I was kind of like, okay, can we move on? But I love seeing Nick and Parvati together. Those are my faves. Yule, he has my heart. Like, I love him so much. Uh, he is so handsome and smart and just so well-spoken and just, uh, he's everything. Uh, moving on, because I can talk about them all day. Uh, Red Tribe, Sandra, Tony, Kim, 
Jeremy and Denise. This would actually be my second choice tribe uh, because this is, they're all together and I really like them all also. Tony has always been a favorite of mine. I've always enjoyed Sandra. Uh, sometimes she pisses me off, but most of the time I thoroughly enjoy her. Kim was actually my favorite on the Red Tribe. Like, I was really rooting for Kim. I've always had a soft spot for her. She's always been a favorite of mine. But I was a little sad for her because she was kind of going on some rocky, rocky steps the first couple of episodes. And so I was really excited to see that Denise and Jeremy kind of locked eyes on her and wanted to work with her. And I really hope that she goes and works with them because as much as I love Tony and Sandra, I kind of want to see those three work together more than Kim, Tony, and Sandra. You know, like that's just how I want it to happen. So please, Survivor Gods, can we make it happen? Thank you. <laughs> Moving on to the Green Tribe, Rob, Sarah, Sophie, Adam, Ben. No. If I had to be in that tribe, I would be pissed. Like, I am not a huge Rob fan at all. I like Sophie, but I don't really know much about her. I'm enjoying her. This is the first season that I'm, I've am i seen of her, so I definitely enjoy her and I like her. I thought she was funny when she was talking about Kim and how Kim like came up to her and she was like, that was the worst mistake Kim could make is to tell me she has the idol. I thought that was funny. Sarah, I'm, I wasn't into Sarah in on her previous tribe. I never watched, well, I think I started her season, but I never finished it. I think I got bored. Um, but when it, when she was on her previous tribe, I wasn't a huge fan. I don't really know why. But I'm liking her with Sophie, and I'm liking her in this last episode. So I'm hoping it only goes up from here with Sarah, in my opinion, like for me kind of thing. Ben, I'm off and on with Ben. I'm not sure how I feel about him. His voice kind of irritates me, but I know that's something he can't really help. Um, I do like that he's kind of all over the place, you know, like like at that one tribal where he and Rob kind of went at it. I really enjoyed Ben. So I'm just not sure how to feel about him. I'm kind of stuck in the middle. Adam irritating the hell out of me. Like, he's just bugging me. I can't stand it when people do something wrong and then kiss ass all over the place. Like, that bugs me. I'll, I've never been a fan of that. But I also... See, here, here's the Libra in me. I always look at where they're coming from. I understand his point. You know, like, he's trying to get back in everyone's good graces. But as a viewer and as someone, if, if I were one of the other tribe members, I'd be like come on like you just bit the big one and now you're trying to kiss everyone's ass like shut just sit there just sit there be quiet let's let's just let us forget okay <laughs> that would be how i'd feel but you know whatever moving on from all that that's my opinion about the tribes blue tribe is where i would want to be red tribe would be my second and green just count me out edge of extinction i this is the first season that I can think of that I've ever seen Edge of Extinction in play kind of thing. I'd heard of it before. I don't think they had... The most recent season I've watched was um, Nick's season, which I'm drawing a blank. David versus Goliath. And I don't think they had Edge of Extinction on there. I don't know. Regardless, this is the first time I'm seeing it in play kind of thing that I can remember. And I'm... I'm actually enjoying it. Like I like having the op them having the opportunity to come back and work their way back. I'm loving Natalie. In my previous video, I mentioned that I'd never watched her season. I only knew her from The Amazing Race. So I'm really enjoying Natalie. Like she is a full on beast and I love it. I love that she didn't tell uh, Amber or what's her name, Danny about finding that clue. I just like her a lot. I thoroughly am enjoying her and I hope that she comes back. Uh, Amber, boring. I don't care if she comes back. Danny, same situation. I have no opinion. I don't care. Like, no. 
Ethan, I love Ethan. He's always been a favorite of mine, and it really was heartwarming to see the rest of the people on Edge of Extinction kind of group together and support him in episode four when he was, you know, when they had to climb up the hill like back and forth 75,000 times. Like, that would suck. I said it once, I'll say it again. I will never be able to do Survivor. It's too physical, there's too many damn puzzles, and I would suck. So I commend everyone for go who who goes on to Survivor because you guys are the true heroes, but I could never. So I totally understood Ethan in that moment. I was like, I got you. Cause I, I wouldn't even I wouldn't have even made it past walk up five. Like it would have been a mess. Um now we have Tyson who's on Edge of Extinction. We didn't see any of the footage from there in episode five, at least that I can remember. And I was a little sad. I liked Tyson, but I like Nick more, so I was totally fine with Tyson going. But it did kind of make me sad. I do enjoy Tyson, so if I had to choose right now, I would want either Natalie or Ethan or Tyson to come back. One of those three, and I'll be happy. In episode five, we saw Rob get voted out, which I thought was hilarious. Like that whole episode was just beautiful to me. Homeboy really thought that he had it in the bag. Like he thought he had, ooh, I have a hair. <laughs> he thought he had Adam and Ben wrapped around his finger and it just didn't work out that way. He underestimated Sarah and Sophie yet again. I was expecting so, uh, Sarah to use her advantage, the, the vote, what is it called? It, like she can take someone's vote away from them and use it towards her. Um, so I was expecting her to use that. So I was a little surprised that she had so much faith in at least one of the guys. But she did. And they came through. They ended up voting with Sarah and Sophie to get Rob out. I thought that was great. I thought it was especially after Rob had his whole buddy system moment. Which is actually pretty genius in my opinion, but it is very controlling. And if I were there, I would have not been into that. I kind of would have been like Ben, like, you don't control me. <laughs> like, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. And I do think that Ben is the one who voted with them. I, I watched the episode on BMX TV and they didn't show who voted for who. So if you know which one of the guys, or if both of them did, like voted with Sarah and Sophie, let me know in the comment section because I didn't get a chance to see. But I do think it was probably Ben because he looked like he, was, he wasn't feeling what Rob was putting out there. Um, but yeah, I thought that the episode ended great. Goodbye, Rob. Please do not come back. I don't know what it is about Rob. I enjoy his advice and his expertise on it, and I can appreciate that. But... I'm not the biggest fan of his, like, I just don't find him awe-inspiring, you know, like, there's nothing captivating to me about him. I think that he would be a great advice giver, a great coach kind of thing, but as far as gameplay, I don't find him entertaining. I, I, I just never have. I don't know why. I liked him in last season where he was a coach kind of thing, and he was giving advice with Sandra. I enjoyed him then, but I don't know why. I... There's just something about him I'm not a huge fan of. He, great guy, I'm sure, but whatever. Regardless, he is on Edge of Extinction with his beautiful wife, Amber, and they can have all the Edge of Extinction babies or Frolic in the Sand or Backstab, Tyson, whoever, whatever, together on that wonderful island. <laughs> My favorites are still Parvati, Nick, um, I'm definitely keeping my eye open on Sarah for sure. I enjoyed her in this episode and I hadn't been enjoying her. So that's a change. Um, I love Denise. I love her so much. I want her to go far, please. And I love Jeremy and Yule. I actually really like everyone on this season <laughs> for the most part. Like, I'm just really enjoying it. So let me know in the comment section what you guys thought about episode 5. Um, and how you're feeling about this season so far, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to join me on the TV Co. app. I go live every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific time where we basically pre-game before the episode. 
before the East Coast broadcast of the new episode. So we basically just talk about the previous week, what we think will happen this upcoming week, and we watch the previous episode together before the new one. It's super fun. I really enjoy it, and I hope to see you guys there. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!